Mm. Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel and today I am doing a week in a life of an online schooler, sort of, just so you guys could see the gist of my online school life. It's just a little vlog. Enjoy. So, yay! So, I know this whole vlog I haven't probably said anything or I haven't talked, but I just haven't felt like talking. I mean, I just have been feeling kind of antisocial and I've just been doing my homework. There's so much noise back here, but part of my week that I do like every Wednesday, Thursday is take out the garbage. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I normally put, I normally put clothes that isn't like fancy or anything i just put like trash kind of clothes It's actually really, really cold, so, like, extremely cold. It's not as sunny as it was, but normally, oh, shoot, goodness
That thing is huge. It looks disgusting. It's honestly so gross. But, yeah, that's gross. But I was trying to say, normally here, I feed the birds in this bird feeder. And then I'm gonna check the mailbox. Here's the bird feeder, that's where they come. Just do the big one. Oh, and I like to refresh their water. So, new water for the birds. It honestly looks really gross out here, especially since that disgusting gigantosaurus bug thingy is right there. Ugh. Anyways. So, the rest of the birds could just eat that mask because I just spilt seeds but i refilled it i feel like i look like i'm vlogging in the wilderness fresh water and this is where I balance it and try not to drop it <laughs> there and to do the mail sometimes Sometimes I would roller skate, roller blade here, but right now it's too cold. But looks pretty. It looks more like fall than spring. But yeah. Mailbox. Key, which means there's another package. Yeah. This is one. And so I'm thinking it's this one, but it doesn't feel like it. Okay, it must not be that one, so we'll try this one, but <laughs> 
Hey guys, so I just got out of the shower after taking out the trash. And now I'm going to, now I'm brushing my hair and I'm gonna wash my face because after I, a lot of the times after I take a shower, my face feels dry. So I like to wash it. Not all the time while I wash it, but I'm washing it. Um, and then I put like moisturizer, do my whole skincare little thing. But also, um, I've been wanting to just like do my skincare more because I'm really lazy with it. Like, I when the whole skincare thing started being like a trendy thing to do, I have skincare fridge and everything, and I really liked it, and I started doing it. But then I got lazy. Um, because I'm not gonna say I have naturally good skin, but like I don't have like cystic acne so for me it's not like what was i saying yeah just because i don't have cystic acne i <sighs> just been lazy like it makes it feel like oh it's a waste of time etc when i have like school and everything i just end up stop doing it especially because i don't want to be making a whole bunch of noise during the night because I sleep late and I don't want to just be clinking, clanking bottles of oil here and there. So, I'm trying to check my split line. Um, so, I don't often do my skincare, but I want to start more because it's going to be finals in like a month. And I don't want to get like final stress acne on my forehead and on my nose and stuff no one wants acne that's when it will really come for me so i'm starting to, so i want to start early on my skincare and make it routine to just make it routine to just do my skincare also is it just me or is brushing my hair very therapeutic like i could do it forever almost until my arm starts hurting, but just brushing it just feels really nice, especially if you don't really have that much knots. It just feels nice. So, okay. I don't do much hair care, but I've been trying to just put oil into my hair. Not into my hair, I've just been trying to put oil on my hair. But I probably shouldn't put oil because my mom wants to re-bleach it. And I don't think we're supposed to have oil and stuff like that. Anyways, my mom keeps texting me, so I'm like looking at the screen. Anyways, oil smells really good. I put a lot, but that's fine, I guess. I mean, I'm gonna use it, right? I'm not gonna waste it. The ends, because I dye my hair a lot. I, um, the hair sometimes at the bottom gets kind of dry. If you guys know any hair care thingies, let me know because my hair is just, I'm at the, trying to make my hair not grow back, but trying to get it strengthened again. Her this is curly hair, you, you do this, so doing it. The one thing I know for my hair is putting this hair mask. Is putting that hair mask, and it really helps to soften my hair. But recently, my hair's just been whack, and so it hasn't been moisturizing. I'm gonna braid my hair. So this is the face wash I use to um, just do my face real quick after a shower. It is Grown Alchemist. I feel like this is good skincare for like super gender neutral because it's just plain brown packaging. So and it's really easy.
focus on my forehead because it's where I normally get acne. Oh, and my cheeks because I think I have a pimple there. This Clinique Clarifying Lotion. Probably put it, tap it on a towel before I spill it all over the floor like I'm doing right now. Okay. But I also feel like my towel is already wet. Okay. You know what? I don't really care. There's not really that much. Much there. Okay. After that dries, I'm going to put some of this. Rec I recently got this. It's kind of cute packaging, right? The poor. Professional tint and tone to pore refining HA plus PHA toning foam. I wonder how big my forehead is. This braid kind of looks weird. I'm gonna rebraid it while I'm waiting for that um, for my face to dry. Could rebraid it from there. Also, guys, do I look good as a blonde? For some reason, I really like this blonde curler. I'm starting to like it. It kind of looks weird because it's really, 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 really bright, but then also I kind of like it. I don't know. Do some on my neck. Oh, am I cut there? It just really burned. Okay. favorite skincare product if i was to pick one would be toner it's very i like how it burns it really feels like it's cleaning uh, do you guys have a favorite let me know in the comments And then some CeraVe moisturizing lotion. Probably watching some true crime. And yeah. So that relevance to what the discussion is. So that's a that's a skill I've learned in, you know, group facilitation. Oh yeah, I like the way you put that. Boy, groups can can't get off track, can they? Yeah. Yeah. Too much people for me. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I'd be uncomfortable. Uh, so much shorter than everyone. Too much, yeah, I like that. Too much people for you. That's okay. Hey guys, so I'm out for the second time. Doing the trash. Same clothes because I'm doing the trash. I think that because I'm going earlier in warm weather that I'm going to roll it but I don't want to be late for class though, so.
sounded so weird because I was just trying to grab the garbage and everything and there's there's a diaper on the floor. Pretty gross. So there's some skates. Oh, how's that end part? Okay. It's just super sunny outside. So I think it'd be nice weather to skate. Actually, I'm gonna be late for class. So I'm gonna just skate to the mailbox. And that's it. I like having my rollerblades while I'm doing the mailbox because it gives me height. Okay, there's nothing in there. I just scared the birds away, but I'm trying to see if they need more water. They most definitely do because they keep making mess. You know, when there's a fly in it. Oh, it's so gross. I think there's mosquitoes.
about those alternatives and it may cause them to move forward with new stories and actions. The final stage is the action stage. The stage plans for generalizing session learning into real life choices. The goal is to facilitate clients' behaviors, clients' changes in thoughts, feelings, and behaviors in daily life by committing the client to homework and an action plan, and if appropriate, a plan for terminating sessions. By doing this, the client will demonstrate changes in behavior outside of the interview conversation, or the client could explore new alternatives and report back with their discoveries. In the book, all of these stages can be found in an image of a circle. This reminds us that this project has this process has no beginning or end. It's rather a symbol of a relationship in which a counselor and client work together. This is also a reminder that we need to be flexible when using our skills and strategies. Again, there is no specific order to these stages, but they all start an answer in deciding what action to take. Virtually all sessions should involve decision making. Whether page 184, you can see an image taken during a research project of a brain and how it functions when it's making its own moral choices. The subject of this project is deciding what ethical choice is more appropriate, but it was found that emotional regulation and current physical status of the subject made a difference in what choices made. An interesting thought breaks were developed by long and short-term memory, and how they were expressed will be determined by current, meta current mental physical levels. This shows that all counseling requires us to be aware that clients who deal with making decisions can benefit from clearly defining the specific issues. By this, we are strengthening their emotional regulation and in turn results in better decision making altogether. Okay, so uh, picking up from where this is uh, left off, when it goes into depth about the different stages of decision counseling, but it uses an actual counseling session. Um, I don't know how to say that properly as a student counselor because this isn't necessarily a uh, real interview or real counseling session, but it's similar to what we had to do in class. Um, so, starting with the five stages of the interview, uh, interviewing and decision, uh, decision counseling, uh, it is aesthetic relationship. It's basically how you create a good rapture or a good relationship with the client, or uh, most likely that's like the stage where you build that trust between you and the client. Um, to be able to successfully have a session. Um, building that relationship to me kind of looks like being honest, receiving permission from your client, and also allowing the person getting the chance to change their mind if you wanted to be successful because they already had a relationship, uh, I guess, through being classmates already. They were saying that not every client will automatically, uh, you can't assume that every client will give you that good, trustworthy relationship from the very first session. So it may, may take multiple um, sessions. Um, so stage two is going to be your story and your strengths. But before I move to stage two, I want to say that the issue that stage one presented was Robert was having issues with his um, boss at work. Um, and then when the counselor was asking him questions, he was kind of short, short answer. So she has to kind of keep open and keep asking open-ended questions to get more out of him. So then that's when we move to stay. And they encourage the, I'm sorry, encourages are really um, emphasized as well. Encourages being whether it's verbal or non-verbal. So verbal could be uh, you're telling a client to go on or like I hear you, so continue. Non-verbal could be nodding of the head a smile, something that shows an expression that's welcome to the client to move forward uh, with what he or she is saying. So it's very uh, important to make sure you're, I guess, doing those encouragers. Um, stage one and two are known to be important in the decision counseling because it involves listening and understanding the client's problem. So if you kind of move to stage one and you don't grasp all the data that's needed, you might have an unsuccessful um, counseling session. So it's Gotta find my way to you Even though you're next to me No matter what I do Your heart is drifting out of reach Head on the water, I'm swimming harder Trying to keep this alive Gotta find my way to you Now that our love has capsized
gotta find my way to you Even though you're next to me No matter what I do Your heart is drifting out of reach Head on the water, I'm swimming harder Trying to keep this alive Gotta find my way to you Now that our love has capsized Gotta find my way to you Even though you're next to me No matter what I do Your heart is drifting out of reach Head on the water I'm swimming harder Trying to keep this alive Gotta find my way to you Now that our love has capsized Friday's dinner, pizza, Funyuns, and Dorito, yay! So guys, this is me again, and I, and this is the end of the video, and I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe.